Hello everyone, um, I am making the Slimming World cheese scones which a lovely man in my Slimming World group made for us on Taster Night and him being an absolute gem he gave me the recipe. So what you need is a tub of fat free cottage cheese, he said to use cheese and chive but I thought it would be interesting to use the sweet chilli and grilled pepper instead. Um, two eggs, you need 40 grams of your low-fat cheese, you need a packet of smashed potato, salt and pepper to taste, a teaspoon of mustard powder but he says that if you don't have mustard powder just use ordinary mustard and sin it instead and a teaspoon of mustard I believe is half a sin and um, 50 mils of water and I will be making this for the first time so we're on a journey together. I will also post the full recipe and ingredients below. Okay, so first things first, I have added my cottage cheese to a bowl and I have attempted to squash the lumps out the best I can. I mean, if you were nifty, you could probably use a food processor or a blender, but I just used a spoon and sort of roughly did it. I am just combining in another bowl the two big legs, mustard powder, salt, pepper, grated cheese. Again, I used the smaller, finer grater which I got from Tiger, by the way, for a pound, in case anyone's interested. Really, really handy, and you get quite a lot of cheese. It's just finely grated. Makes it go further. So that's all mixed in a bowl together. Having reassured that it can look quite messy at this point, it is pretty gloopy. But this is when you add your smashed potato. So you don't mix your, your smashed potato before you put it in. You just put it in as a dry powder, and the liquid that you have added will make it into a smash doughy consistency. So I've now added this smashed potato. I've probably added um, three quarters of a sachet. And as you can see, it's gone quite doughy. And all I need to do now is turn it out into the bench and sort of squish it together and cut it into somewhat scone-like shapes with a cookie cutter. Alrighty then, that actually went a lot better than I thought it was going to, considering I don't actually have a cookie cutter and I do the glass. But yeah, needs must. So, as you can see, I got quite a few out of that. Um, this one, <laughs> this little one is just the leftover mixture that I couldn't form into a whole one. So, that couldn't be my, my tester one. So my scones are just out of the oven, I flipped them halfway, I did do them a bit longer than 20 minutes, I probably did them about 25, but they are looking very nice. And I did try the little one, and it was amazing. Sort of like the inside of a pasty, that kind of like cheesy potato-ness, but I must admit, I think it's the mustard powder that makes them look and taste amazing. 